Hi, this is Julie with Beadaholic, and today I want to show you how to use Judikin's Amazing Glaze Heat Curing Powdered Resin. I'm going to open it up so you can see what it looks like. You can tell it looks like granulated sugar, basically. It's all loose in there. And we're going to use it to create this wonderful high gloss finish on top of an image in a bezel pendant. So I've got two samples here that are complete. You can tell they look very nice. They've got dimension to them. They have that wonderful coating on them. And here I have a blank bezel, which I've just cut an image and put inside of it. I've used white glue to adhere it. And now what we're gonna to need to do is fill our bezel with the powdered resin, and we're gonna to have to heat cure it. Now, what most of you guys are gonna to wanna to do is put this in a conventional oven or a toaster oven on a flat surface, such as a cookie sheet, which you've lined with foil. You'll just put it flat like that with the powdered resin in the setting, which I'll show you how to do in one moment. And you're gonna heat your oven to 275 to 300 degrees and let it be in there for two to five minutes until you see this powdered resin basically liquefy and turn clear. For the purpose of this video though, I wanna show you another way to cure your resin. And I'm going to use a tripod right here and I'm going to use a heat gun. I'm also gonna have a micro torch handy in case I get any bubbles. This is a little bit of a more difficult method, but I do wanna show you how to do it and what the Amazing Glaze looks like when it does cure. So to transfer our resin to our bezel setting, I'm just gonna take a spoon and I'm going to fill the bezel with the powder. I'm doing this over the jar just so I don't waste any. There we go. I wash my hands beforehand so my fingers are clean. I'm just gonna scoot it to the corners. And I don't want it to be overfilled, so I'm just going to go ahead and remove a little bit. And I'm gonna tap it down just to help level it. And I notice I have a little bit of dust right here on the edge. Just going to wipe that away. All right, now we're ready to go ahead and cure this. So I have my tripod with my mesh and this is gonna get very hot, so you're not gonna to wanna to touch the metal at all. And that's true too if you're curing it in an oven or a toaster oven. You're not gonna to wanna to touch the metal until it cools down completely. So we are not going to go from the top down with our heat gun. I did that the first time I tried this and my powdered resin blew all over my work table, which is not what we want, but we're gonna go from the base and then you might also see me slightly rotating my tripod just so that I get a nice, even, um, a nice even amount of heat along the base of the bezel. And when I'm doing this, I'm not gonna be able to talk because it's gonna be rather loud. So just watch and see what happens when we apply heat to the base of this bezel with the Amazing Glaze Heat Curing Powdered Resin. So now that we finished that, I'm not gonna touch my piece. I'm just gonna move my tripod. So if you have this in the oven in your cookie sheet, you're gonna take it out, keep it laying flat. Don't try to remove it. Now I do have a couple little bubbles. Right there you can see them at the edges. So I'm gonna take my micro torch and I am going to just quickly shoot them with just a little bit of heat. And you wanna work with protective goggles and of course a well ventilated area and have all your safety equipment when you're doing anything like this. There we go. Okay. See that removed my bubbles. And 
and I shot it with a little bit more heat just to even it out. And there we have a wonderful surface with a wonderful high gloss and it has that nice thickness to it. And one quick tip before we sign off, I used a collage image for this piece, so I really didn't need to seal it and I was okay if it got a little bit darker like sometimes will happen if you're using resins. Now if you do wanna seal a piece, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and use some diamond glaze on top of an inkjet image just so that it doesn't darken it too much or seep too much into the paper or become blotchy. And that's all there is to using Judikin's Amazing Glaze.